I want to tell you about how Books for Africa started. Some of you know the story, but uh, I, in 1988, I sold my business, Motor Books International, and, and I went to Africa. I went on a safari, and then I, I made my first attempt on Kilimanjaro. I got to Gilman's Point. You Tanzanians know where that is, or most Tanzanians don't climb Kilimanjaro, actually. Uh, and then I went to, to uh, Jinja, the second city of Uganda, uh, and the source of the Nile. There a friend introduced me to a, to a library, a public library. Now, you know, this, this library had all the trappings of a library. It had, it had shelves and, and uh, bookcases and chairs, and it had students sitting around at tables. It had a librarian. It had a card file. But it had no books. And you've been talking about no books. This library had no books. And you know, I'd been in the book business all my life and knew a few bibliophiles. You know what that word means, bibliophiles? So, so I came back to Minnesota and got together with a few librarians, booksellers, and publishers. And we sent a few packages of books to Ginger. Now, the rest is history. Isn't this amazing? Incredible, I, I can't believe it. I really can't. There are so many ways you have helped. Container captains, one of them was up here. A container captain is someone who takes on a project. They've perhaps been to Africa and seen the need or they're, they're African and they want to send to their families. The container captains who raise, raise the funds. There's the warehouse volunteers. Those of you who've been to the warehouse and sorted, both in Atlanta and here, you know, Books for Africa would not exist if it wasn't for volunteers sorting the books. There's no way we could afford to pay those people. So it's, it's you volunteers. Thanks very much. And then, the, and then the book donors, you know. Some people give huge quantities of books. Yesterday I was at the warehouse and a, and a lady brought two little boxes of books. It takes all those books to, uh, what is it, make a village? No, no, make a, end the book, end the book famine, right? And then uh, our partners across Africa, uh, one of them's represented here, Robert Amoko, but all the people who distribute across the, across the continent, you know, we always send to a partner and these partners are uh, working hard, carrying the boxes and sending the books out. And then of course, the oil that makes it all work, the cash that comes in, that's so important. But how about, what have I got this word? Fantastic staff. Will the staff stand? Not the board, not the <laughs> ambassador, the staff. Where are you? And, and wait a minute, stay standing, stay standing, because they are led, the staff is led by the incomparable Dr. Plonsky. Doctor, hey! S seriously, seriously, we get all these good ratings from the charity navigator sites and so on because we have a small staff doing a lot of activity. Most organizations of this size need lots more people. So these people work very hard. In the last, last week, of course, they've, I think, Carol put in 16 hours one day. Mustn't get personal here. Um, okay, tw 25 years. 25 years is a long time. I've not forgotten the people who shared the passion in the early years, you know. Some of those early years, the, uh, I think five years down, we, we wondered if we could continue. Uh, but you, you people really shared that and, and made it work. I particularly want to mention the Rotarians. Uh, some of you are in the room, unless you've gone home. Uh, and, and particularly, I want to mention the, the Woodbury Rotary Club, which raised money along with its partner, partner East Metro Rotary Clubs to send a, a container to Ginger. So as we sit in this room, there's a container of books on the ocean on its way to Ginger, and that's sort of like a symbolic circle that's come round since I went to Ginger all those 25 years ago. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, 
But, but as we look to the future and, and the present, you know, we've got a lot of uh, newer partners, and a lot of them are huge. You've heard some of their names, but not all of them. Uh, but I just, you know, I can't help but, but mention something that happened. Yesterday, we got a call from Mankato. Mankato? Why would you get a call from Mankato? Well, one of the biggest children's book publishers in the, in the country is in Mankato, Capstone Press. Capstone called and said they're going to give us, they're going to give the children of Africa 500,000, half a million children's books. This is, this is, this is amazing. That, they're worth about five million dollars. This is incredible. But I also want to give a shout out to, to all the publishers who have helped us all the years, particularly Lerner. Lerner has been with us since the beginning and has given us thousands and thousands of books. And now, Grey Wolf, Grey Wolf, you're here somewhere. But there are other publishers, and I can't mention all of them. So they've joined us in this venture, and so it, it takes all kinds of partnerships. Finally, a great big thank you from the children of Africa. I am wont to say that, as some of you know. Thank you from the children of Africa. However, there are 400 million children in Africa with no books. So, I expect you all here in our 30th anniversary in 2018. So, thanks for coming and thank you for everything. Good night.